Hi guys, I'm Alex from Squish Gym and today we're finally going to do another equipment review and we're gonna present to you guys the Rogue Donkey. So I got some comments asking to review of this bad boy and we're finally happy to oblige. If we're gonna talk about the Rogue Donkey, we have to talk fundamentally about its base unit the Rogue Z Hyper. The Rogue Donkey is basically a kit that's built into the base of the Rogue Z Hyper, which was an earlier offering before they came out with this combo unit. And honestly, the Rogue Fitness did a great job in making this particular setup. So the way that the machine is set up is you have your GHD component up here, you have the pendulum that swings over here, the main replacement that's done from the Rogue Z Hyper to the GHD Donkey unit is that instead of having the handles that come out of the pads here, the handles are inbuilt into the foot pad, which you can adjust by moving a pedal and moving it up and down according to the height of the athlete that's going to be performing exercises in the machine. Now, as to how it feels and how it operates, the GHD component of it, you going down and the pad, the the softness of it and how much support it gives to the hip is fantastic. I found that the foot pads, different adjustments back and forth are actually pretty good for a variety of heights. Um, this unit in particular has been tested probably with more than 50 people. With all 50 of those people or so, I've managed to find one height adjustment where the person feels comfortable enough to be able to perform the full extension of their torso when they're performing back extensions or hip extensions, depending on what they're training on. Now, that is for the GHD component of it. For the reverse hyper component of it, of you know getting the belt underneath the feet and performing uh, the reverse hyper, I have mixed feelings about it. I think it's uh, sufficiently good when it comes to the work that it can perform. But again, you have to go back to the actual Rogue Z Hyper. And in my opinion, both the Rogue Z Hyper and the Donkey units reverse hyper component is not the best. It's good, I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10, but it just doesn't give you enough leverage and support to really be able to engage the whole musculature. I, I would be curious to try the different ways that you can angle the pad to produce a different uh, force vector from the reverse hyper. And uh, I'm sure Westside Barbell has had some different types of reverse hypers where the pad is not flat, but it's actually tilted. So that'd be interesting to try and compare to this one. Talking more specifically about what are the exercises that you can do with this bad boy and what would be the advantage of this particular unit. So the pendulum itself is very, it is very practical for a lot of resistance exercises. You can do a variety of rows by attaching a carabiner at the bottom and extending a handle and being able to row the weight. You could do it by adding a chain to have a little bit of length so that you're not so close to the plates. And then you can do a chest supported row. You can um, put on an ankle cuff, connect it to the pendulum and use it for kickbacks. Uh, one popular use of the machine with uh, some of our glute clients is getting underneath the machine and performing kickback variations. And the machine actually performs really well for kickbacks. Since we have all these extra harness in the front of the machine uh, of metal, they actually permit the person to really leverage themselves when they have to do the kickback, which is pretty cool. And so basically any type of pulling stuff, you can probably get creative and get a good use of the pendulum. You can do a lot of stuff with TRXs, for example, and just be doing uh, pullbacks with the TRX. Now, the pendulum itself works to load weight into the person that, there's going, that they're going to do a GHD back extension. Since it's so close to the person as they fall down, they can literally grab the weight pegs and extend themselves and use the, the pendulum as the load if they need extra weight. In that sense, this GHD functions like any other GHD. You can use it with barbells. You could use it with med balls. Obviously, you can do the reverse GHD uh, sit up, which is a very popular move in CrossFit. So you're not gonna have any limited functionality from the combo unit. There is no exercise that I found that a reverse hyper or a GHD can do that the combo unit cannot do. So if you're looking to save space, that's when it's a really good deal. 
And precisely talking about deals, we also have to look about prices, right? So the Rogue Donkey right now is going for $19.95. And then you, you have some competitors in the market with different offerings. I think if we're going for top contender to top contender, I would probably incline myself to look at Sorenix offering, but that machine is considerably more expensive, around $3,500 or so. But a big part of that has to do with how many nuts and bolts and how much welding the machines have. This machine has a huge amount of bolts and nuts. And so it takes quite a bit of time to build. And once it's built, it's really difficult to move around. So that's one aspect where if you had a welded machine, it would be so much easier to just move around because you don't have, uh, you don't have the same displacement of weight. It's more of a single unit. And this one, you can really tell that the two external parts of the machine are two different parts of weight. So when we, knew we need to move this, we normally have to do two carts, one here, one there, and then everyone just kind of like carries it like a type of cruise ship. So in general, um, if you need to train posterior chain, and you need that performance increase from having this specific machine, I recommend you get it. I think uh, for someone who's doing bodybuilding or who's doing more uh, associated activities for longevity, a 45 degree hyper would probably be a better bet since you can still do the sit-up component and it just has a, small, a way smaller footprint than this particular unit, not to mention that it's also cheaper. If you guys have any other questions, uh, feel free to write them out in the comments and I'll make my best to answer you guys.